I'll have you know, I am having a <laughs> bubble bath. There is yeah. a ridiculous action movie that is on the, the Tridio <laughs> display in there. And I have a little <laughs> crappy bottle of champagne. Enjoying That's the fine things. Regardless, uh, the indicators are indicating you have a 30 minutes of hot water left uh, for your 24 hours allowance. And, uh, yeah. What do? I think we were going to make a pass on the facility just to kind of see what it looks like from the outside. Do, uh, do we have a basic, like, aerial view, layout, that kind of thing of the place? Can we use Google Maps? <laughs> um, you, you can. Uh, from what, yeah, you've done enough oh, research. Do we... time. You've got an overview, but it's just a flat, rectangular building uh, from above, surrounded by perimeter fence. Uh, I mean, this this isn't my thing, but could we do just a matrix thing to like go? Can we look at the cameras they got, or, or is that going to be too much for right now? Uh, that can be done from the hotel. Uh, get nose penalties, but if you want to drive closer, that's also a thing. Okay. So it is a, it is a that. thing that can be done. We can easily get a view of the outside, because I, I have one fly spy, and I'm pretty sure there there's at least one more between all of us. So the outside should be an easy, uh, an easy get. The cameras are probably, uh, it, in my experience anyway, are usually tied into the host. So I can, I can definitely poke them as we go by. Uh, it is possible that they will detect me, but uh, not, not in a way that will be like crippling. Just, in, okay. just probably annoying and put them on edge a little. I'm guessing, I'm just... from... Sorry. Um, I'm guessing from the satellite photos there'd be something like a security guard or post right near the entrance. So, is that a question? Yeah, I'll be saying, like, is there a security post or guard station at the entrance and exit to the place? Uh, between you, you've got enough security knowledge to know, but it almost certainly is. Okay. Oh, this is an aerial lift bridge. <laughs> that doesn't seem terribly interesting at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. Um... It does. It, it sounds like you're going to space. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, not that kind of lift. Um, Ultimate, do you think you could take a pass by the place and see if it's warded or has any other crazy magic shit that will incinerate our brains? Yeah, it's crazy that magic shit good. isn't good. Okay, um, so make sure I'm clear, your idea is to go and do a drive-by uh, and do some physical matrix and astral recon as you go past. Yeah, we probably don't want to do the park and stake the place out thing, at least not yet. We have drones okay. that can accomplish that. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, who's going? And what time do I you want to go? Be, uh, I'll be going, and I think we're, like, once we've had a chance to bathe and everything, we're, we're going to get right to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna guess Broomhilda's gonna just just chill here, maybe no. Uh, at the actually, moment, no, bath up. at the moment she is definitely chilling here. Uh, she is going to get to work on some uh some other stuff like the um <laughs> when we get a. A view, like an outside look at this place. She has some structural engineering skills that she's going to start to work through and get some ideas from that. But at the moment, uh, she's enjoying her bath with bubbles okay. and bubbly. Um, what is my perception? I'll, I'll go by just to help with a physical look at the place. Uh, see if I recognize anything, just security-wise. Uh, 
and I'll probably be doing the same. Um, I might be able to get phys- physically closer because of my sneaking among the meeting suit. So if I want to be closer, get out of the beach and have a closer look, I can do that. Okay. So everybody but Boomhild is driving by. Is that correct? And who's driving? Probably not me. Seeing as I'm Uh, soon to be unconscious, not me. (laughs) Oh, yeah, actually, is anyone... Who's going to be... If you're astrally projecting, you probably shouldn't be driving. Yeah, uh, why don't we just... (laughs) Why don't we just let the O-pilot do its thing? That's probably a good idea. Just yeah, a probably. car full of unconscious people. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to be suspicious. I, I think I would suggest Quick guide is an option. My... <laughs> yeah, my my pilot ground craft is two, so you're only uh, an awful driver then. Basically, just a drive. You don't need any dice. It's if okay. you start doing open do... stuff or trying to get away, it comes into play. Okay, so if everyone else is going to be actually doing some things, I guess I can drive, and hopefully we don't have to drive fast. Cool. I mean, if you guys do something that requires fast driving like that, I definitely don't know you. <laughs> yeah, we, we have no means of changing the, the plates or the, the signal on this car, so if, if this gets tagged, then they'll, they'll route our sins and everything. I will just go and... You know, do my bungee jumping, have a nice little trip here in Minnesota, <laughs> check out that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I, I'll drive then, uh, so you guys can do your stuff. I, I want to raise the question of if we should let the alcoholic be the driver, <laughs> but I have no better I mean, option. I'm also <laughs> running on no sleep, but that's... I'm. This is baseline. Yeah, just hit a little Nova I'm Coke fine, and you're fine. Man. <laughs> Why you gotta... Jeez. Why you gotta... I, I have some medicinal Coke. cram I can get you. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Nova Coke, thank you. Alright, so I think we're good. <laughs> uh, the seats I... don't matter, I'm just sticking you in the car for my memory. Don't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> Let's be responsible here. Okay. Cool. So, about 2 a.m., uh, you arrive at the location. Um, it's quite close to the um, Mississippi River, uh, which is about, you can see the fenced off area, which is about seven feet tall, top of razor wire. Uh, uh, the, uh, as you're looking at it, as you're driving past, the uh, front of the building uh, is, sorry. No ink. Brain farts, brain farts, brain farts. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Uh, As you're driving past, uh, you are on the um, west side of the building. Uh, The Mississippi is um, on the other side to the east. Uh, To the north is a a, a skyscraper. uh, Well, not a skyscraper, but a tall building. uh, Eight floors. Um, there's no um, business label on it, but it says it's a Aries. skyscraper for Minnesota. Yeah, uh, this I don't know, Aries, uh, but but your location is clearly labeled. <laughs> uh, there's a guard up. There's a, a small building. It's well built. It's an actual brick shack um, with a barrier over it. And there's spike strips and a uh, very sturdy looking gate. And the usual anti-terror bollards and stuff, so you can't just drive a truck through it. 
But, you know, that's standard Six World corporate stuff. Uh, the guard is uh, leaning on the door, looking very bored. Uh, he does not seem to be interested in you at the moment. Um, <clears throat> would it be possible for me to take a picture of the guard and compare it to the list of... Um... Yep, done. This one for people. Is it a map? Uh, well, me. In fact, no, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it is not. Well, it was worth a shot. I'm just going to, like, while we're driving... I've never seen so many I'm gonna. I'm just gonna maintain like a normal speed. Like I'm not gonna noticeably slow down or circle the place. Or we're just we're doing kind of a drive by. I'm getting. Is this place on a corner? Uh, no. Uh, okay, can so I get nice. etiquette roll from you? Uh, etiquette or pilot ground craft to, to act natural. We'll probably go with etiquette here. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, where the hell is my etiquette? Right? Six, twelve. Okay. Uh, probably going to be affected by anything. Okay, sixty-six. This is taking so long because I needed to check if I was betting, spelling etiquette right. <laughs> and I almost fucked it up. Etiquette. With a T-I. Okay, yeah. You drive. You, you're cool. He doesn't know. It doesn't pay any attention to you. Uh, but you can tell. I'm super cool. Oh, uh, as long as I'm doing my thing, I'm just going to do a normal... Kind of physical perception roll to look at anything out of the ordinary, anything that might help. Okay. You know. Um, well, visual perception. Uh, everybody else is welcome to do the same check. Yeah, I'll be doing the same. Oh, actually, does if I'm if I'm looking at my sheet, is that going to add my uh, the help from my contacts with? Uh, yeah, uh, if you've got contacts with visual enhancement, yeah, that's an extra dice or extra dices, depending on what enhancement you've got. Uh, and if you've got it. visual specialization, that applies. And don't and if, forget your tech topic. Uh, vision gene mod as well, if you've got that. That's also another, another plus three dice. That is actually a good point. Um, but I'll let it go I, this time. I uh, got uh, uh, vision magnification on the context. Uh, that is not going to help until you're looking at something specific on this one. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, could I use then the, my magnification to try and see spot cameras? Where uh, they are? And all that. Yep. Uh, but we'll do that in a minute. Okay. Well With these perceptions, uh, everybody has a very good look at the place. Uh, what you see, a tall building, very, I wouldn't say brutalist, but very utilitarian. It's There's no, no expense spent on any decorative appeal. It is a brick of a building. Uh, with the traditional silvered one-way glass, uh, a well-lit car park. Uh, not a huge amount. It's obviously hard to tell with the glass they've got in, but it doesn't appear to be a massive amount of lights on, and there's not that many cut cars in the car park. There's a lot of empty spaces. 
Uh, what else? It's an old building, uh, well constructed, uh, was stained with acid rain and stuff. If you've got any questions, you're welcome to ask. Because you've got five uh, uh, Entrances. One in the uh, front. Anything else notable? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, obviously, there's a big lo lobby. Uh, that's the only non-see-through glass. Sorry, that's the only actual see-through glass. Um, you can just about make out a, um, a desk. Uh, there's a security guard and a... Um, some sort of scanner in the doorway. Uh, the security guard is not particularly paying attention. He's just sat there. Uh, okay. Um, uh, there's also a secretary behind a desk. Okay, then I have two questions, both using the, the vision magnification. Could I then see if either of those two people would be on A, the list of people that we've spotted, um, on our list of disgruntled people, and two, spotting uh, cameras. Okay. One thing at a time. Uh, she is not. Uh, she did come up on your me feed gouging, but not as a person of interest. Uh, but for matrix perception, uh, well, you can see cameras clearly. Um, there's a number of them watching the car park. There's a couple watching the um, guard outpost. And uh, just about, you think you see what might be a more discreet one uh, tucked away just above the doorway. Uh, if you want to look for more, that's a, another search. You have to do um, start tricksing if you want to um, spot more. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably let me me to do that in the system, basically. Um, that's what I was yeah. Um, I'm going to roll my assist dice to help me just with uh, that. Okay. Uh, at this point, you're still driving, and uh, the edge of the fence is starting to come up. Now yeah, you got three extra dice, media. Nice. Actually, it's matrix perception for um, actually spotting oh, things. Oh, sorry. Matrix perception. My, my mistake, but it'd be the same dice. Uh, okay, that's fine. So I, I don't have a, a specialization yet. Cool. Uh, okay, uh, you perceive the, sh the heck out of the uh, vicinity and a uh, constellation of uh, icons well up before your eyes. Uh, there's um, cameras. Uh, uh, Sensible intervals. Um, you also spot the uh, more hidden icons of the security fence, the uh, pressure pads in the immediate, just inside the doorway, not just inside the fence line, little patch of earth on the perimeter. Uh, that's wide. Um, and there's shitloads of them in the um, building itself. Wow. Is there any to do with the roof, for example? Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's some up there as well. Okay. Um, am I able to spot that scanner that uh, was mentioned? Oh, yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a metal detector. Ah, uh, of course. Womp womp. Uh, I got uh, just two simple questions. One, uh, notable fire escapes on the side, or is this... They probably have, like, fire stairways inside. 
Uh, they've got five stairways. Uh, there's a number of exits. Uh, basically, one on every side is a, an exit, as well as the main entrance. Okay. Uh, uh, the other, uh, other quick question would be, I just want to take a quick glance at the buildings around here. Like, is there... For example, like a coffee shop on the other side of the street, just some place that would be an effective place to like, all right, we're going to sit down here with an excuse to sit down here. <coughs> or is this a uh, kind of strictly uh, a business district? More of a business district. Um, okay. If there is a place that would let you sit in is a mom and pop cafe. That's about a block away. Uh, it does not have direct line of sight to the place. Okay. Uh, should I run, because you said there was a uh, Ares building next door? Yes. Should I run my Ares back technology knowledge skill on it to see if I know any, anything more about the building itself? That yeah, sounds like a good roll. Just, just on the off yeah. Go for it. Dang. Okay. Uh, that you know that this is uh, an Aries marketing mar market research um, facility for this um, region. Uh, that's not quote marks market research. It's actual market research. Um, it's well secured. It employs a lot of people, um, but it's nothing particularly out of the ordinary. Uh, They've got their own security. Uh, and actually, they've claimed uh, extra ter territory. It's um, corporate land. <laughs> gotcha. So, yeah, are there any pressure sensors on the roof itself, or, or, or are they only on the ground? <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, okay, then yeah. Well, not a pressure pad, it's a pressure mesh, which is slightly less sensitive, but... Okay, then if we could disable that, then yeah, a roof entry is possible. I would get that, yeah. That could be done. Well, any sensor can be disabled. Exactly, and I've got a grapple gun so I can get up there. That's definitely an option. Oh, I have one thing I wanted to check out. Uh, I would like to fly the my fly spy around the perimeter of the uh, the facility toward the river and see if there's any access from there. If they have like a drainage pipe or something. Let's go ahead. Okay, um, you fly around the outside of the building. Uh, it's nothing. The fence line stops about eighty meters short of the the river. Uh, can I get a perception check from you, please? All right. Okay. Uh, as you're flying along, you notice um, just off in the distance, there's um, pipes. Uh, going straight into the river. Uh, that's quite small, they're only about a foot in diameter. Uh, they're all pretty much just aiming directly at the river. Nothing's coming out of them at the moment, uh, but they're quite crusted with a um, suspiciously orange substance. Uh, well, mm. it looks looks orange of a light from your device at this time of night, because I keep forgetting about night time. <laughs> <laughs> the chemical spectrograph. Well, definitely seems like the J was right that they probably are polluting to some to some extent. Then, hmm. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll perhaps try and get a get get some scrapings off that and see if we can get a little bit of a bonus. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Uh, uh, by this point, you have driven past the building. Uh, you're heading past the Aries facility. Um, you can turn back and drive for another look, or. Can we go in? It's tied up to you. 
Uh, do you think we want to do that, or do we want to just not be suspicious here? And um, I think we've got a rough layout of the land. We can see that probably the best place is probably from the roof. Um, if when we do eventually go in there, um, I think now we need to work on get get night sleep and work on uh, finding the disgruntled people and working one of them. I think that'll be the next course of action because that's where where we can get some solid intel. I would assume through them. Yeah, like I'll okay. just gonna head on to the Astral and just zoom over there instead of needing to go by again. Um, there is an issue with that trying to find your body back up as in a moving vehicle is quite difficult, to my knowledge. Could I go ahead and like park a little ways away? Absolutely. Yeah, I can go to the mom and pop place. Uh, they are shut this time of night. Shit, I mean, if they lose my body, can, there is a check. You can point. find somewhere. I'm not going to make you. You find a place okay. to park. Okay. Hound on the mom and pop door, like two in the morning. <laughs> uh, what are you rolling for, Boom? That's a good roll, but I don't know why you did it. Sorry, I was must have been muted still. You got me now? Yep. All right. Um, you said it was the chemical residue. I would like to know what kind of chemicals. Um, uh -huh. Orange. Um, without a sample or physical presence or scent or anything, all you've really got to go on is the color. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I could narrow it down to a a list of things that produce a an orange residue, but to narrow that list yeah. down to something useful. Is, uh, uh, it could be a bromine. Or I some, have no idea what that means. Something bromine-related. Uh, it's probably not healthy if they're dumping it in the river. Uh, the pipes don't look amazingly clean, if you know what I mean. Whatever is coming out of it is affecting the pipes. But from what you see there, there's not really enough to go on, I'm afraid. Alright. Um, considering how far away it is, because uh, it's not right, right next to the building, I could, in theory, sneak over there and get a sample to bring back for Boom Hilda. Hmm, it's, it's outside the fence, so sh you should be able to do it pretty easily. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I mean, if it's going to be, like, super notable on a on a chemical level, we could drive a little ways down and get it, you know. That's an option. Well, it's up to you guys. I can sneak up and get it, and then, because then you'll have a much more accurate source. While I was trying to get a sample from, from the water, it's going to be a bit diluted, and you probably your result might not be as accurate, possibly, depending on the chemical in question. That's all I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can we can get as close as you guys want, provided it's not like right next to the facility. Yeah, and I'm just gonna sneak up and get a sample and come back. Okay. Is that your plan? I think so. I'll uh, I'll try and provide some Overwatch with the fly spy, just in case anybody like takes a notice and starts snooping over. Okay, can I get a sneaking roll, please? Uh, sure. Uh, and I'm guessing Urban comes into it. Yes. While they're doing that, I have a couple of questions. Yep. Um, the three data tabs they wanted installed. Do they want them installed in specific things? Uh, they want them put where nobody's going to spot them. So they just want them put into the... Into the... In, in, yeah. Within the building, somewhere that okay. can be used by a hacker to get good hacks on. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Alright, then I need information from a, from a host dive. Yeah. Yay. Okay, you are very sneaky indeed. Cool. Uh, so, so is that like for me sneaking there, getting top and coming back, or worth doing a separate sneak to come back? I'm sorry. 
with the sneak check cover, me going to the pipe, get, getting the sample, and then coming back, I will have to do a separate sneaking check for when I come back. Uh, the sneak is to get you to the pipe. Okay, this is, I just want to mention. Okay, so, yep, yeah, you get out, uh, safe distance away, uh, carefully make your way along the bank. Uh, one second, please. In the list of things that uh, I came up with that was orange, is there anything in there that is uh, hazardous to touch that he should be aware of when trying to get a sample? Mm. Um, well, you can tell from looking at it that it's probably not good to get on your skin, uh, if judging by the what it's doing to the pipe. Uh. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, because I've got, uh, I can use like, one of the tools from one of my tool kits, just like something sharp, and then use that like, to scrape a sample off and then put it in like a plastic bag, so I wouldn't actually physically touch it with my hands. That probably makes sense. Makes sense to me. Sorry, I'm muting myself. Um, I'm happy that you're competent enough to get a sample without burning yourself, but what are you going to put it in? Oh, if that's screw it, whatever. You've got time. You've got to, you pop off to I am, or whatever. I empty my bottle of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. No, 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 no. I, those, man. This, is, this has been drunk before. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gonna very need to carefully, fix more on the way back. You get a sample, uh, put a screw on, and you hope it doesn't react with alcohol. Uh, <laughs> and then I need to do my sneak back. Okay, I'll roll that now. One moment, please. Okay, carry on. Okay. You arrive back at the vehicle without apparent... What's the name? Incident. And then I hand the bottle to uh, Boom Kilden and say, Do your thing. Uh, Boom is on the bus, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, then I'll say... You I'm will. Ready it's, it will happen. Do your thing. Yeah. So what does it smell like? Careful. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too close to that because we don't know what it is. Maybe no, not I... something you should be, like, inhaling too much of. I don't know. Do you yeah, want to I... take a sniff? It is completely within your purview to do so. <laughs> it's, it's... Well, hang on. When I was near the pipe, would I have had a smell come off the pipe that I would have uh, let's see now. I don't know too much about chemistry myself, so I'll just quick Google something. It's a question. More than, more than likely, you're probably just getting some form of cancer five years down the line. So, you know. Which is fine, because as a shadow runner, your life expectancy isn't that long anyway. No, it's, yeah. it's like weeks or whatever, isn't it? Something like that in like the law, the average. Uh, there is a certain bleach twang to it. It's not, oh my god, my eyes are burning bleachy, but bleachy. Does that help with my, my seven previous hits? Uh, yeah. It's probably going to be harmful. Um, All right, don't you don't smell know it. how harmful it is, but yeah. Definitely not something you want to get on your skin or take a shower in or anything. But until you get to analyze it, you can't really tell how bad it is. Sure. I don't, right, have, I have, I, I don't have the facilities here to, to analyze chemical stuff. <laughs> um, we could we could uh, bullshit a little bit with some uh, some basic tests. Yeah, not yeah, in my hotel hard room. Some stuff. <laughs> oh. I thought this phone. was my ticket in. <laughs> At this point, she is wearing a plush terry cloth robe and is just kind of like splayed <laughs> out across the queen size bed. We're not doing it in the van. I'm not ruining the security deposit. 
We can do this right, later. Right. Okay. Else. Okay. Oh, right. We're going to do the magic thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, so. Ultimate, uh, I'm guessing you've got Astral? Uh, yeah, I've already rolled it. I've got four hits. Oh, I'm sorry. Where was that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, step out into the Astral. Uh, you see a couple of things. Or maybe one thing. Let's find out. Okay, a couple of things. Um, the first and most obvious thing is there is a ward around the whole building. Uh, it doesn't go to the, as far as a car park, but the entire facility in a little way into the ground uh, is surrounded by a shimmering bubble of mana. Uh, you also glimpse a water spirit on the roof. There would have to be, wouldn't there? Uh, that is a point. In fact, no, carry on. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, if I, out of character, I, I do not know how man awards work. Is that just like you're not yeah. authorized to come in? You bump into an invisible wall. Um, for mages, basically, um, as a ordinary person, you can go in and out all day. You won't see it. You won't feel it. Well, you might feel it if it's strong enough, but it's not going to affect you. But as a mage, it can and will stop you going in. Uh, or if you bust your way through it, it might notice, notify the mage, uh, cast it, that you've breached it. Uh, How would okay. it affect an adept? If they had, uh, it, if they had active powers, it would stop them, probably. It only bothers things that are magically active, like actually doing stuff on the astral like if you were astrally perceiving it would be a straight like wall if you're just magically active like a mage you can as long as you're not doing anything on the astral you can just walk through it oh okay exactly yeah, it, if, if you have a, a spell sustained or something it will mess with that uh, or but just active walking foci. through it yeah active yeah. foci will take a hit if it's less than the force of the ward they'll switch off uh so would if ults, if ultimate's not doing anything, can he just walk through, or is the fact that he is magic going to cause him to like bump into it? Astral, uh, you have you have to make your way through. Yeah, physically. Okay. Physically, I can just walk through it. It's perfectly fine. Okay. But uh, yeah. If he is inside and like casts a spell, is that going to like pop up on the radar of whatever mage that casts this? Nope. Uh, only if I attempt to go out of the mana barrier while it's still active. Yeah. Okay, so and if you... Okay, so active magic can't cross it, but inside of it you can yeah. do some magic. Okay, okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, what force was the mana barrier? Did I get that? Uh, you'd have to uh, look at it in detail for that. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, sorry, still looking at skills. I can't remember what you get for this. Here we go. Uh, you do not get the force. Okay. Uh, you can tell it's a it's a fairly reasonable aura. Uh, it's actually weight check. Uh, you can tell it's probably hermetic. In tradition. 
Okay. And you can tell it's quite old. This has been up for a very long time. And I have the astral signature of the Mexican castle. Uh, no. Okay. Well, if it's quite old, there is a chance the person who originally put it there isn't working there anymore. If it's that old. It could have just uh, been there and left, uh, basically. Uh, if I... Uh, this is a little out of character, but for the for the actual Cassie person, like, some, some lesser corpse will just pay to have a ward put up, and that's the extent of their magical security. Hey, true. Right. So that's what's probably happened here. So it, it, if we were to pop it, it, it yeah, we should, we should be fine in theory. Yeah, it's so probably not I, worth it. Well, if the, the mage will get alerted if I pop it. So there isn't, I mean, I think it'll be fine we, because we're probably just going to stick to Monday and infiltration. Yeah. Here's, a, here's an interesting question. Why do we need to infiltrate it? Because of the day taps. Uh, you've got enough brain power between you. Also, the... terribly sorry about that. My headset cut off because I'm microwaving something. What did you say? Uh, uh, but yeah. Taps. That's why we need to place them. In yeah. Day taps. And also, Mr. Johnson has, well, Mrs. Johnson has asked that you um, find out the nature of the, what's the word? Key so structural got... supports. Yep. If they're That's... accessible yeah. and what they made of and stuff. That's easy, though. You ready for this? I'm all ears. Is this the all plan? Right. We find out who does their maintenance. We break into that place, change some of the equipment around so that, like, it has a... Uh, the data tab built into it that we have. Like, take the... Go into, let's say, their heating and air conditioning, and pull the case off one of the replacement units that they're just going to kind of like drop in and install put our data tap into that close the case back up and leave from the maintenance place and then we just like data spike the shit out of something in the we make it look like that needs replaced inside the facility they call their maintenance line to send the guy over to replace the part the part has our package inside of it with the data taps and all of a sudden, they have installed the parts for us. I really but like this. What data, data spiking yeah, will that's... alert them because they're being attacked on the matrix? Oh, data, data spikes are so inelegant anyway. I'll, I'll find a workaround. And also, it also depends on how their system set up because the maintenance stuff, the actual package part, might be completely isolated from everything else. So we might not be able to get the information we need from that specific thing. Yep, that's why we need a bit yep. of a, a host dive to find out the the particulars on if this is possible. Right. It would Indeed. also have to it would have to be something like we got we have to get three data tabs in there, was it? Yeah, three. Yes. yes. Okay, so it can't just be something like a monitor or something. Like we need to know. All right, we put chips in these three devices. Why does it in need these to be three, three devices? All three in one? Potentially. Depending upon what we can oh. find that we can easily sabotage. We could... Okay. We could potentially... Would... Rob is thinking of, like, the, the the window air conditioning unit or, like, the central air unit. There's a lot of space in there. So, like, right. even potentially hiding them in the same thing, it's like, we have an intrusion, and then they find the data. And we're like, aha, we found that it was in the air conditioning unit. And then, like... Do they tear it down the rest of the way? Or do they just assume that they have it with the one that they found? Well, that depends how competent they are. If they're good at the job, they'll carry on. If they're not, then they'll just go, ah, this is the only one, and just forget about it. Uh, does well, anybody have then... common sense? Um, I don't think that I do. I do I, not. I plan to get it in the future, but I couldn't That's put right. it on the agenda. I wanted to, but I couldn't put it. <laughs> no, fair enough, carry on. Uh, if if they've discovered, oh god! Hang on, could I roll my skill on security procedures to know to know what they do? Yeah, actually, I, I yeah. was thinking. You can give it a go. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm thinking is, if you find a bug in an air conditioning unit, you might just throw that air conditioning unit out. Right. 
but part of it is like they're not going to need this for a long term thing. Yeah, it's only going to be like a week or something. Um, yeah. Security design. Okay. Well, I did my security procedure knowledge to see what that probable procedure would be. Okay. I got three hits. Um. Just wait on other rolls. Can I? Can I roll to just assist on that? Is that something? Is that a different command? Uh, do you have that knowledge skill? Uh, this oh, is a know, I don't, skill. I don't it's think, think I have security procedures. I have security. Where is it? I have security it's design. Design. Yeah, different, different thing. Uh, so I'll just roll security design. Is, is that okay? Yeah, go for it. That's relevant. And then I'll just roll any extra dice I got. Hey, there we go. So then, do I roll the extra four dice I got then? Uh, no. Oh, shit. Um, I might have something that is ridiculously relevant. You ready? I'm all ears. I have a forensics knowledge skill. I have a contact who's a forensics expert. I'll if say no to that. Uh, well, well, I've got a contact who is a security consultant. So, so if we don't get enough through this, I can just find them up. So, there's a thing. Uh, all right, so let's see what we've got here. Security procedure. It's hard to know exactly what we do. Uh, lots of companies do things in different ways. Uh, it's possible they may just pull it out, toss it in the garbage. They may call the cops. They may pass it on to the insurers. They may lock down the whole building. Uh, probably not going to go that far. Uh but they probably will step up security, so it's probably a bad thing if they find it. Yeah, finding a data tap hidden in your gear is a bad sign. Uh, how seriously they take it depends on the company. I still, I, I think it's a good idea still. Uh, for security design, very similar. Uh, somebody finding a suspicious device attached, uh, first thing they'd probably do is shut it off. Uh, then either call in their local expert, they may, or if they don't want to handle it in-house or don't feel like they ought to, they may notify the uh, local authorities. Either would be a reasonable way of doing things. Ignoring it probably is not an option. But it may tri trigger paranoia. And in the movies, it wouldn't get spotted at all. They'd totally fall for it. Uh... Unless it was more cool and dramatic for them to almost spot it. <laughs> That's supposed to be the I mean, we. What about uh, if we alter that plan a little bit and we are the maintenance dudes? I had thought of that. Um, unfortunately, out of character, I would say uh, we've only have one person who's really good in social interactions. Uh, the rest of us don't roll that yeah. great dice in it. So if we get spotted and someone kind of panics because of rolls, yeah, not so good. You got somebody the... that uh, they can get you disguises? Uh, I will just say, out of character, you're all quite charismatic and edgy. Um, but obviously in character, you, you have your own objections. But it is not unfeasible to do it that way if you want to go that route. I, uh, All that says that is like we have a sneaky person. Why can't they just sneak in instead of because doing all these? Because there's a spirit on the roof. If we could is get there? rid of that, then I could and disable the sensor on the top, and we can find a way to so I can navigate the uh, camera. Then yeah, then I could do it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even catch the water spirit. Dang. Yeah. 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 Well, that Probably. is going to be the issue. I'm mean, going get rid of that, and, uh, and I'm pretty much game. Is the Watcher Spirit behind the Mana Barrier, or is it in front of the Mana Barrier? It's floating above. Okay, uh, well then I could take it out. Like, I can literally just wipe it off. The yeah, but that would alert the mage. No, it and doesn't it, alert the it mage. It doesn't alert. Oh, it's no, a ritual. Okay, then yeah, we could it do would, that. 
potentially alert the mage, depending upon what time he was coming back, to replace the Watcher Spirit when it expires. Uh, if that's the case, I can just stay on the Astral, uh, and if it does come back, knock him out. That continues to alert somebody that, hey, not only was yeah. my Watcher uh, Spirit knocked out, some dude tried to sucker punch me. Uh, they hey. won't notice necessarily notice immediately that the Spirit has gone down, but they will find out eventually. Whether that's an acceptable risk to you is obviously your decision. But Unless we tracked down the mage and made sure he was really busy whenever he was going to replace that Watcher Spirit so that he couldn't do it specifically on time and then uh, when he gets there it's normal for the Watcher Spirit to not be there. But that's a... That's yeah, like... at, at the end of the day if that isn't like if it isn't normal for the Watcher Spirit to be gone he'll get there and go like Where's the Watcher Spirit? Right, unless so we do it, something to change his... Uh, yeah. Which is why I, I once again made the suggestion of messing with the other yeah. facility, because then we haven't done anything to trip any alarms on this place. The only right. thing is the air space is quite high security from what I got from my noise, if I recall. Um... So, I, so we have to essentially uh, play security in two different buildings at the same time. Why do we have to be in two buildings at the same time? Because then I could, in theory, get onto one building and then go from one building to the other, essentially. Nah, I'm, uh, oh no, yeah, I'm okay. still on the I, idea that we get I, some other so patsies to, to do it. Like... Before we really go any farther, we j we need to get information out of the yeah, host. Yeah, we need because yeah, that, we indeed. Need to and yeah. we need to see if we can get information from any of the disgruntled workers. That I, is, I think that's our next. That is beyond point. secondary. Okay. Uh, at this point, we've been going for another hour, so I think we'll take a five-minute break. Uh, we'll come back at five past the hour on the Skype call.